Hello, everybody. I am Anthony Williams. You're a play-by-play -play announcer tonight, joined by Donna Crumpton, the color commentator. We are here in the Solano Community College Gym, getting ready to watch the Solano Falcons take on the Co Contra Costa Comets tonight. And we are getting ready for the starting lineups. This is an SCSN broadcast. We are live. Donna, how are you feeling tonight? I'm feeling pretty good. We have a new year. We've got some new basketball. Contra Costa on the road looking to take a win. Falcons looking to defend. Uh, Trayvon Ross is out tonight, so we've got a, a little size discrepancy. And I've seen both teams in the warm-ups. They was out there trying to dunk. They're trying to, you know, trying to get hyped up for tonight's game. Yeah, like you said, we've seen a lot of higher flyers for the Contra Costa during their warm-ups. And with Trayvon Ross being out tonight, they're only really center on the team. But he's not even really a center. He's more of a power forward. They are so small. How can they hide the fact that he's not out there tonight? Oh, they can't hide it. They're just going to have to limit their turnovers and keep Contra Costa from putting up a lot of points. They put up around 87 points a game. So they're going to have to move the ball around, uh, use their subs more so people don't get tired. Um, no, don't let them get offensive rebounds. Always box out. You know, fundamentals, that's what it's going to be down to because if you don't have your hero, you know, you can't save the day. Yeah, if they could limit the rebounding advantage that Contra Costa may have in this game, then they could definitely have a good chance at winning. Definitely. Well, it looks like we have the tip off here in just a few seconds. Yes, and we have number 11, Sterling Thomas, getting ready for the tip off, going against number 25, Jordan Strain for Contra Costa. And I guess Sterling Thomas is going to have to take on that role of being a center. Yeah, he's going to have to be the big man tonight. Yeah. Let's see if she could bang down low. As we are ready for the tip off. All right, here it is. And Contra Costa gets first possession. The, the point guard for today. Eric Jones. Yes, number one, Eric Jones. Averaging 13.3 points per game. As they go inside early to number 25, Jordan Strain. He misses. Rebound by Sterling Thomas. As Thomas brings the ball up court, pass to Leon Williams. Leon Williams gets it back to Thomas. Thomas gives it out to Dupachan for the three misses. Rebound by Eric Jones. Pushing the ball up court, goes for the mid-range shot, misses. Rebound by five, Matthew Murray. Yeah, they're going to have to limit that tonight. That's exactly what I was talking about. Yes, and Murray gets the put back to go in. And like you said, offensive rebounds are going to be key for Contra Costa getting the win tonight. As Maurice Campbell goes to the hole, misses, rebound by Murray. Number 15, Kamari Wright has the ball. Wright gives it to Jones. Jones looking to set up the offense. Jones trying to give it to Strain down low. Strain gets the ball, goes at Thomas, th gives it to Murray. Murray gives it to Wright. Wright goes in, and he is fouled. Hey, Anthony, they have very good communication out there. I see them out there talking. You know, they're not just taking any shots. They're waiting for the right time. And then there you have the foul. So they got something out of that possession. Yes, and to round out the starting five for Contra Costa, we have Eric Jones, number one. Also, Matthew Murray, Jovell Vance, number, number 25, Jordan Strain. And then you have 15 at the free throw line. Yes, Mr. and Wright. Kamari Wright. As Wright makes the second free throw. Leon Williams pushing the ball of court. Williams looking to set up the offense now. He gives it to Meme, Andrew Meme, getting his start tonight. As du Isaiah Dubochan oh, with the fillet nice going on. Nice move by Isaiah. Oh, he put some jelly on that. Yeah, so much <laughs> jelly on that one. As we have Eric Jones bringing the ball up court. And Isaiah Dubochan, another factor for Solano getting a victory tonight. He averages 12 points per game, but he shoots 40% from the three-point line. And yeah, they're going to have to rely on that. Not as much as you want to, because, I mean, you don't want to, just like the Warriors, you don't want to rely on that three-point shot. You know, it's there. You know, it's an option, but you don't want to rely on it because nine times out of ten, you know, you can't be 
Superman every night. Yeah, and on the other end, we had Jovell Vance hitting up his first three-point shot. And there's Duplachan again. And Duplachan responds with one of his own. Yeah, he hears you up here, Anthony. As Eric Jones has the ball, gives it to Wright. Wright gives it back to Jones. Jones gives it to Murray down low. Murray goes up strong, but it's denied. Block. Oh, but Murray hustle. gets his own rebound and goes up strong and gets the and one basket to go. Yeah, see, that's another offensive rebound. Oh, my goodness. They have to crack down on that. It's yeah. just the beginning of the game. And Murray averaging 7.6 points per game and shooting 80% from the free throw line as he hits his only free throw shot of the game so far. As Andrew Meme has the ball, gives it to Dubochan. Dubochan denies the screen from Thomas, gives it to Thomas. Thomas, four to three, hits the three-point mm. shot. Very good, very good. Yeah. Found the open man. Yeah, Sterling Thomas shooting a crazy 53.8% from the three-point line as Eric Jones goes up for the shot and gets fouled. That's a smart move by Eric not to take the three and drive it inside, try and pound it, and he got the foul. You know, maybe he can get the pair. Yeah, it looked like he got kind of bailed out for a minute, though. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. <laughs> Still better than a three. Yeah, true. As Eric Jones shooting 57.4% from the free throw line. And as a team, the Contra Costa Comets averaged 65.2%. Which is a, a decent average. Yeah, it's you know. decent at best. Yeah, once you hit like the 50s, I think that's when. Yeah, that's when I need to have a talk with you. Yeah. <laughs> As a team, we're just shooting free throws for all the practice. As Andrew Meme has the ball, gives it to Leon Williams. Williams gives it to Dubochan. Dubochan gives it to Williams off the screen. And Williams hits his first three-point shot of the game. Yeah, they're shooting a high percentage tonight. Yeah, Solano averaging 40.4% as a team. So they have some shooters on this team. Oh, and it looks like it's going to be a good night. As Murray responds with a three of his own. Oh, you can have that back. It's going to be a barn burner tonight, Anthony. As Williams bringing the ball up court. Gives it to Meme. Meme uses the screen by Kimbo. Gives it to Kimbo. Kimbo for the three. And oh he hits a three. Goodness. Oh my God! I think we're just gonna see a lot of three. Oh yeah, that oil tonight. is heating up. The oil's popping. Yeah, it's popping for both teams <laughs> right now. As Eric Jones takes the ball in, and he gets stripped. Andrew Meme has the ball, pushes up to Isaiah Dubochan. Dubochan goes up, misses the layup, rebound by Vance. Now it's picking up. Here As Wright go. goes to the hole, and he Wonderful gets the layup to go in. He rocked that like a cradle and put that up. Okay. Yeah, good job by Wright keeping his composure and going in strong for the layup. As Andrew Meme has the ball, gives it to Williams. Williams for the three, misses, rebound by Wright. Wright gives it to Jones, pushes the ball to court, gives it to Vance. Vance gives it back to Jones. Jones looking to take Leon Williams, gives it to Wright. Wright orchestrating the offense right now. Wright gives it to Vance. Vance gives it down to Strain. Strain goes up strong, misses, gets his own rebound. Yes. And it will be a jump ball. Jones and Wright are doing a very good job keeping the pace that they want to play at. You know, they're not trying to keep up with the um, Falcons right now because they're kind of shooting the lights out. You know, they're shooting just as great, but they're shooting the lights out. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think Strain liked that call. I think... The, I think he thinks the referee called it a little bit too early and should have let them keep going because he almost had possession oh, of the definitely. ball. Oh, definitely, and that would have been another offensive rebound. As Meme has the ball, looking to take Murray with oh the spin goodness. move with Murray shot, misses, mm. and it will be Contra Costa ball out of bounds. As Vance inbounds it to Eric Jones. Jones being guarded by Anthony Jones, number 13. As Strain has the ball. Strain looking to go in, pass it, bounces to right. Right goes in, and he missed the layup, but he will go to the free throw line. Yeah, there goes that size discrepancy. Once you give it to him at the top, he gets about three steps. That's momentum. He's a train after that, you know. Actually, the ball will be inbounded. Call was on the ground. 
And yeah, there's a lot of holes in this Solano defense without Trayvon Ross being there. I believe he's the tallest player and strongest because he plays down low all the time. And we really don't see anybody else from Solano play down low like he does. Oh, it's a, it's a hidden art, you know. The, you can be as tall as you want to be, but if you're not inside grabbing rebounds, boxing out, hustling, trying to help out your team, you know, you'll, you'll see that. It'll show. And without Trayvon Ross tonight, it's definitely going to show. As Joseph Vance for another three misses. And a foul will be called on number 13, Anthony Jones. As Eric Jones will be inbounding the ball for Contra Costa. As Jones looking for somebody, finds right, right with the mid-range shot, and he hits the mid-range shot. As Jones will bring the ball up court. Sudden gets Ooh, picked cookies. by Wright. Wright goes up oh. for the dunk, and he gets the dunk to go in. Fast break oh slam by oh Kamari goodness. Wright. Yeah, Wright just reached on in there, and he found something. Oh, he, he took everything. He was oh uh, my Almost had another one yes, there. Yes, sir. Double time for three, and he responds. Eric Jones being guarded by Dupl or being guarded by Anthony Jones now. Right being guarded by Duplachan. Jones gets the ball back. Looking for the screen. Use the screen by strain. As Matthew Wright drives baseline. Goes Whoa. up strong. Nice right-handed layup by Matthew Murray. As Kimbo has the ball. Duplachan for another three. Misses. Rebound by Vance. Vance pushing the ball to court, gives it to Jones. Jones looking for Strain, gets the ball to Strain. He Strain with the right rear shot, gives it to Murray. Murray is fouled. That's good. They can't let that have happen all the time. They can't let that be free. You know, give them some pressure. You know, make them make them stay outside, make them scared. You don't have the size, but you know, you can have the presence. Yeah, and I believe Strain. He. He had a good look at the mid-range shot, but he decided to pass it anyway. If he would have went up with the mid-range shot, he most likely would have hit it if he can shoot that good. Yeah, maybe he doesn't feel the confidence <laughs> like she <you> just said. <laughs> As Murray misses the first free throw. And Murray, again, shooting 80% from the free throw line this season. Murray is also one of their leading rebounders with 7.4. He has about four or five offensive rebounds already. Five. As Murray missed the second free throw also. Rebound by Minmay. Jones with the ball. Gives it to Rajon Washington. Washington misses. Gets his own rebound. Good hustle. And a foul will be called on Contra Costa. Or right. right, actually, it will be going the other way as Eric Jones will shoot free throws. Eric Jones, a 57.4% free throw shooter. The guard, the freshman guard. So he's about half and half. Yeah, as he sinks the first free throw. Yeah, Contra Costa, again, shooting 65% from the free throw line. They're going to need them all tonight because the Falcons are shooting. They're trying to make up for Trayvon Ross not being there. Yeah, they're really spreading the floor tonight and just getting shots for the shooters. As Contra Costa applying some pressure as Andrew Meme has the ball. Meme looking to penetrate. Gives it to Leon Williams. Williams gives it to Anthony Jones. Jones gives it to Sterling Thomas, who checked into the game. Thomas looking to create. Gives it to Anthony Jones. Jones goes up for the shot. Misses. Rebound by Williams as Williams he gets the shot to go hard. in. But that's one thing about Solano. Their guards can rebound, too. So even with them not having their leading rebounder in, Trayvon Ross, 
they have guards like Leon Williams and Isaiah Dupochan. Also, Sterling Thomas could get in there and rebound. Yeah, they're going to have to use that speed. If they're not going to box out, yeah, I'm going to run right past and I'm going to go in there and grab that rebound. As Leon Williams has the ball, looking to set up the offense. Williams using the screen by Thomas. Now using another screen by Washington. It gives it to Andrew Meme. Meme gives it to Jones. Jones penetrates. Goes up for the shot. Looks like it was blocked. Sterling Thomas with the rebound. Gives it to Jones. Feeds that man. And he misses the end one opportunity just by the roll of the basket. Oh, that was wonderful play. None of them gave up on that ball. Oh, yeah, great job by Sterling Thomas keeping the possession alive. And good job by Anthony Jones cutting and giving his teammate a lane to pass the ball. Oh, yeah, he jumped back in that play. Anthony Jones, the freshman guard out of Army o High School. Jones shooting 100% on a year. I guess so, you can't ask for better. <laughs> yeah, you can't get any better than that. As he hits the first one. Looks like the ref was wiping off the ball. Jones for the second free throw. And he hits that one too. As Maurice Kimball checks back into the game along with Isaiah Dupachan. Yeah, I'm ready to see more of Dupachan. He's, you know, he came off hot and maybe he's coming back in hot. Oh yeah, Dupachan, he doesn't cool down easily. Once he's hot, he's gonna stay that way for a minute. That's what I like to hear. As Matthew Murray gives it to number 11, Evan Thompson. And also number three, Steve Evans checks into the game. As Leon Williams gets the ball, goes up for the layup, missed, makes the his fast break Is layup. That lightning speed, yeah. Anthony. He, he just passed through everybody. He was, my goodness, that was some speed, right? That was some Westbrook speed. That was. Uh, I don't know about Westbrook speed. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, the NBA is on a different level. I can compare him, you know, give yeah. him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he definitely got there because I didn't see where he came from. I just know he scooped the ball up and hey, got gone. the easy layup. Bye bye. Yeah, a timeout from Contra Costa. Coach not, not liking what he sees with a score of 25 to 23. Contra Costa up by two points. Danae, what did you like from both teams so far? Oh, I love the play of Duplechan and the speed of Williams. They're moving the ball very well. They've gotten the ball from the left wing to the right wing up at the top. They're working on the inside, and everybody is hustling, grabbing offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. And the size, it looks like there's not a size discrepancy. And from Contra Costa, I'm loving Eric Jones. And right, their tandem is, is wonderful. It's, you know, you can't teach that. You know, that's, that's perfect chemistry. And I'm hoping to see some more in this next quarter. As Contra Costa has the ball, they're still looking to go down low as number four, Trayvon Silas, gets the basket to go in. As Leon Williams gives it to Isaiah Dupachan, Dupachan uses the screen by Thomas, gives it to Jones. Jones uses the screen by Kimbo, gives it to Kimbo. Kimbo four to three, hits the three point shot. Yeah, these guards have vision tonight. It's, <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Or actually, they're going to count it as a two point shot. Same foot was on the line. As Silas goes in strong again. Really showing the down low size that Solano lacks very much. Oh, yes, it's, it's back. And, you know, Falcons can only fight back with more of these great open shots, finding the open man. And they're, they're pretty close to knocking down everything. So Contra Costa is going to keep using this size. They're going to have to because the Falcons are shooting lights out right now. As Evans dumps it off to Silas. Silas really getting going early on. Oh, he's had the last three shots. He's, he's eating right now. I don't know if there's enough food for him down there. Yeah, Silas is really long, as you can see. His, his arms are just so much longer than everybody else's. And he could get gets his shot at any mm. time. As Trayvon Silas goes up for the dunk. Ooh. And he gets the dunk to go in. Trayvon Silas scoring the last eight points for Contra Costa. A duple chance should have left that alone. And we're really seeing why they were dunking during warm-ups. Oh, yes. They, 
<laughs> it came from the circus. As Leon Williams looking to get to the basket. And he will be fouled on the ground. Yeah, Trayvon Silas is being a real spark for the Contra Costa. I think he was like their secret weapon because he came off the bench strong. And they just had to get him going, and then, you know, he's taking off from here. <laughs> yeah, Silas scoring the last eight points for Contra Costa. As Sterling Thomas will inbound the ball for Solano. Gives it to Meme. Meme gives it to Leon Williams at the top of the key. Williams gives it back to Meme. Meme uses the screen by Thomas. Gets it to Washington. Washington gets it to Williams. Williams looking to penetrate. Gets stripped. And Matthew Murray has the ball. Gets it to Evans. Steve Evans looking to penetrate. Gets it to Silas, the hot man down low. And he will be fouled by Sterling Thomas. Okay, and we're going to show a replay of Trayvon Silas dunk. That, he threw that down so nasty. I know you watched last night game with OKC and Ferguson. He had his oh. dunk just like, oh my oh, yes. goodness. Yes, Ferguson. I think I think it was the first one because I he went milled the second one, right? Oh, he he slammed his uh slammed his forearm into the uh mm -hmm. into the rim. I thought he hurt himself, but he was too hot. As Contra Costa gets another possession off the missed free throw. They're gonna set it back up at the top. Yes, yeah, number 10, Isaiah Adams gives it to Steve Evans. Evans using the screen by Murray. They're looking to get Silas going again. As Silas dies on the ground. And it will be a jump ball. Great hustle by Rajon Washington. And I believe Washington poked the ball loose too. Yes, he did. It was, but Silas kept it in the game. You know, he's hustling hard. Give that man some rest. Get him some Gatorade. We're going to get him back in the game. Yes, Trayvon Silas. Put, putting up big numbers in the little time that he was in. As Steve Evans, number three, will inbound the ball. We got Eric Jones back in the game. Yes, Eric Jones at the top of the key being guarded by Leon Williams. Eric Jones tried to get that one to go in. Murray Another gets the offensive rebound. Another old And rib. he gets the putback oh, shot to go in. As Leon Williams be guarded, being guarded by Eric Jones, gives it to Andrew Meme. Meme using the screen by Kimball. Meme gives it to Dubochan. Dubochan going. Gives it back to Meme. Meme penetrating, gives it to Williams. Williams travels. Only LeBron can get away with that. I think a lot of players could get away <laughs> with that now. <laughs> it's an NBA standard. Yeah, I know you've seen Antetokounmpo. You know, he took three steps. He walked to the house. <laughs> But he's so long that he could get away with it. Exactly. <laughs> and the rest will be like, nah, you know, I don't think he walked. Yeah, he, he kind of <laughs> have walked. But a timeout by the Solano Falcons. And the country Costa up 10 points now with a score of 35 to 25. With a little over eight minutes to go. Donne, what can you say about Trayvon Silas and the spark that he was off the bench? And Trayvon Silas is that size discrepancy that we were talking about that we didn't know was there. We didn't think he was going to take off like that, have back-to-back -back points and a bang-out to finish it all off. Hustling hard, diving for balls, and you know, it looks like they're going to need uh, Trayvon Ross. But they don't have him tonight, so they're going to have to box out, stop these offensive rebounds, stop all of that. Yes, Trayvon Silas and Matthew Murray combined averaging 12.4 rebounds per game. And we could see how really active they are in this game against the smaller Solano Falcons. As both teams will come out of their huddle. Falcons are just going to have to pick up that shooting, pick up where they left off. Because the size is, you know, it's, there's a lot of eyes on the size. Even the coach knows that. That's why they're just feeding Silas down there, and he's down there, and he's eating. Yes. In the first possession of the game, we seen Jordan Strain go in, and Strain himself averaging 7.3 rebounds per game with 6.5 points per game. So he's another rebounder that Contra has for their advantage against the smaller Solano. As Strain goes up for a shot, misses, oh rebound by Murray. Murray is just really active tonight. Oh, yeah. He's, he's taking everything from Solano. 
Yeah, Murray and Silas, they have those long arms to the point where they could just reach and grab almost every rebound in their sight. That's grown man size, Anthony. As Steve Evans penetrates, gets his own rebound, and it will be a jump ball, and it will be Solano ball. Kimball inbounds the ball to Leon Williams. And Kamari Wright, who just checked back into the game, guarding Williams. As Maurice Kimball with the ball. Kimball gives it to Dupachan. Dupachan gives it to Williams. Williams pump fakes, gives it to Meme. Andrew Meme looking to penetrate, looking to dish off the ball, gives it to Williams. Williams gives it to Kimball down low. Kimball goes up. Misses, rebound by Murray. Yeah, the Falcons are they're favoring the right side, and I just think that's because everybody is right-handed, and that's the hand they prefer, but they're going to have to get it to the left. They're going to have to swing that over there. It's getting kind of stagnant over there. It's not much happening. You know, they're, they're still at 25. They're going to have to pick it up. Still like the play, though. Still like it. Yeah, Solano, they really haven't been able to get it going since... They hit the 25-point mark. And Matthew Murray, the freshman guard, he's only a freshman. Just think about what he can do getting experienced for his first season. Well, that's definitely going to develop him. Only a freshman next year, a sophomore, and then where he transfers and goes off, you you might looking at be looking at some crazy NBA talent. Yes, he could definitely be a defensive specialist, one of those guards that just help him rebound you know with smaller lineups oh and that's what that's what teams need you always want your point guard to grab rebounds because that's always extra yeah extra possessions as you see Andrew Meme with the ball gives it to Leon Williams Williams gives it to Duplachon for the three misses rebound by Eric Jones Jones with right on his side gets away with a carry maybe yeah that's definitely a carry <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I think that's what kind of messed him up because he knew he got away with it. And he's just like, and he wasn't oh, that my focused God. on finishing. Yeah. <laughs> As we get a shot of Leon Williams, Williams really being the team leader for the Solano Falcons, one of those guards that I mentioned can rebound. He's their leading assist man, and he's their leading point scorer for Solano. He's basically a do it all guard. He's definitely been getting the move, uh, the ball moved around in there. You have another open shot. They'll find him. He didn't knock it down, but that's still a great look. Yes, that's Ray John Washington gets the rebound. Sterling Thomas goes in. Spin move, misses. Rebound by Vance. Vance bringing the ball up court and gives it to Jones. Crosses over Jones, gives it to Murray for the three-point shot. Misses, gets his own rebound. Passes out to Jovel Vance. Vance gives it to Eric Jones. Jones looking to penetrate, slowing up the offense, slowing up the pace. Right on the other side, calling for the ball, clapping. Yes, they're trying to get it down to Jordan Strain. Strain gives it to Murray. Murray goes in with the floater to go in. Matthew Murray, Matthew Murray really being the other spark for the Contra Costa Comets, giving the Comets a 14-point lead in the game. Yeah, it's getting out of hand. Those towers are getting rolling and... The Falcons are running out of ideas. They're getting sloppy out there. Uh, Sterling Thomas mishandles the ball. Luckily, Solano retains it. Thomas drives in, gives it to Williams for the corner three, and Williams hits it th this time. They needed that. Yeah. Eric Jones just busting through the pack. Eric Jones turning on the turbo jets, misses the layup though. And he put pressure on Sterling Thomas. That's the, that's the hustle. Oh my goodness, the no! Misses a Rajon Rondo type layup. Oh, yes. The ball oh. fake. <laughs> yeah, he did that for me. That was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of lost your voice there, I think. <laughs> it happens sometimes. As Kamari oh, Wright my goodness. with the fillet oh, layup. Oh, my gets goodness. Gets it to go. Man. Behind the back. That was. Oh, my. Uh, they're, you know, it's getting kind of like some 21 ball out there. They're <laughs> getting very comfortable with them handles. Isaiah Dupontron penetrating, goes in strong and gets the shot to go in. That's it. Eric Jones bring the ball of court. Jones will slow down the offense. 
they're looking to free up Jordan Strang, giving him a mismatch. And he has it against Isaiah Dubochai. And Eric Jones will be fouled by Sterling Thomas. Right now, Contra Costa have them scared of everything that they're doing. Going to the hole, shooting. You know, they're, they're paying attention to everything else. They're not grabbing rebounds. They definitely have to make some adjustments. They should make them next time out. They're definitely going to have to make them by next half. Yeah, like I was saying, without Trayvon Ross being there, you don't really have a big man presence for us. So I know the next man up is Maurice Campbell, who kind of has the size, but he doesn't have the length that Trayvon Ross has. And as we can see, length with Murray and Silas getting almost all the rebounds on the court, it really plays a factor. Oh, yeah, he definitely has the size, but, I mean, when you're up against Contra Costa, Murray and Silas, that, that you know, your size really, you're average now, you know. Yeah, Andrew Meme with the ball, gives it to Washington. Washington gives it to Jones. Jones penetrating, gives it to Dupachan. Dupachan penetrating, goes up strong and will get fouled. Get to the line, center yourself, make these free throws and, you know, get a start. Start chipping away at this lead. Isaiah Dupachan will shoot two free throws. On the season, he is shooting 78.6% from the free throw line, but he misses the first one. And he's very angry with himself. Because everybody knows free throws are the, the easiest shot of the game. You know, they're easy, but somehow they're hard. Are you a great free throw shooter, Anthony? <clears throat> well, last time I played, I, yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, I once hit 22 free throws in a row. Yeah, I'd never do that. Yeah, yeah I... I yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he sinks the second free throw. As Kamari Wright will bring the ball up court. And Solano now playing a 2-3 zone to really protect the paint. It's a slide, you know? Yeah. Great adjustment by Coach Renego. As Kamari Wright for the three-point shot misses, yeah, Anthony Jones will bring the ball up court. Jones will give it to Dupachan. Dupachan penetrating. Go, gives it nice. to Leon Woods on the cut. Leon Woods missing the shot. He's going to have to make those. That was that was a wonderful ball movement. As Eric Jones looking to penetrate. Gives it to number 10, Isaiah Addles. Addles gives it back to Jones. Jones using the screen. Jones gives it to Vance. Vance gives it down. Mouse in the to house. Number 22 or 23, Deion Demon Wright, Washington. Washington misses and Ray John Washington with the rebound. And Leon Williams will bring the ball up court, gives it to Anthony Jones. Jones gives it to Dupachan Quick for the lift. corner three, misses. Rebound by Kamari Wright. Wright really going down low. He's missed the layup. Rebound by Solano. Come on, Solano has numbers. Solano definitely has numbers. Two on three. Jones goes up. That was will terrible, be blocked. terrible decision. Yeah, Jones. He thought he could get the shot over it or at least get the foul, but he yeah. had Andrew Meme wide the open wing, in the corner. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, Coach really talking to Jones. They just got to think a little bit more. They're only down 11 points with another half to go. They don't have to rush anything. Nobody has to be a hero. You can still use your team, move the ball. You know, he could honestly, he could have pulled that back and found somebody else. I'm, it's, it's not even that they're playing bad basketball. It's just... Right now, they're getting out-hustled, and you really can't do anything about Trayvon Silas and Matthew Murray. Their determination of getting the ball is just so high right now. Maybe Solano could get them in foul trouble, possibly get them out of the game for a while and creep back into this game. Yeah, you have to play. Yeah, you definitely have to play smarter. You know, get, like you said, get them in foul trouble. Sit them down, and you're gonna have to. You're actually gonna have to start making these open looks. You're getting, you know. <clears throat> Doesn't matter if they're out the game if you're not scoring. So. Yes, as we get a look at the Solano huddle, we see the girls' coach Matthew Borcher in the background. Yeah, his his game is coming up next. A uh, great coach for the women's basketball coach. If you're looking at the banners, you'd see a whole bunch of women's basketball banners. Oh yeah, nothing but greatness up there. Yeah, you know, Solano's just great all around. Well, I don't know. 
don't like to brag, but you know that's why I go here. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why we all go here. <laughs> As Andrew Meme will inbound the ball. He finds Isaiah Dupochai in the corner. Dupochai gives it to Williams. Williams gives it to Jones. Jones gives it to Meme. Meme gives it to Dupachan. Dupachan penetrating. Gives it to Washington. Washington gives it to Jones. Jones penetrating with the spin move. Mid-range shot, and he gets it to go in. Anthony Jones. Anthony Jones with a nice shot. Now guarding Eric Jones. As Washington gets, gets the ball, gives it to Kamar Wright. Wright looking to give it to Silas down low, but gives it to Jones. Jones looking to pass the ball, gives it to... Adels, Adels for the three-point shot, misses, rebound by Demon Washington. As Coach Costa will reset, Eric Jones with the ball. Jones looking to give it to Silas, gives it to Adels, Adels gives it to Wright. Wright gives it back to Adels. Adels give it to Wright. They're really looking to give it to Trayvon Ross. Ross has the screen, and Damon Washington for the corner three, misses. Oh rebound by Contra Costa. Gets it back. Washington gets the rebound, but Travel. he gets called for traveling. Oh. As you see Coach Nago trying to get his team pumped up. Yeah, they had the ball for a while down there, Anthony. They were just shifting them from left to right, throwing that ball. They were just trying to find something. And right now, they can do that. They, they can just throw it over everybody's head. As you see, Eric Jones and Trayvon Silas going back and forth. And they were really trying to get Trayvon Silas open because, like I said, he is the mismatch for the Solano Falcons. Oh, yeah, anybody guarding him is a mouse. As Leon Williams gives it to Reggie on Washington. Washington gives it to Jones. Jones for the three. Bounces, misses, and a foul will be called on Demond Washington. Anthony, I've been paying attention to this for a while. Nobody's in the paint when the Falcons come down for it. Everybody's on the wing. Everybody's outside of the paint. Nobody wants the ball down there. So when a point guard drives in there, there's nothing. There's no screens. There's nothing for him to, you know. He has no options down there. So, therefore, he has to shoot and make a bad shot, you know. They have to <clears throat> definitely adjustments at halftime. Yes, as Leon Williams gets the ball, gets to Andrew Meme. Meme uses the screen by Washington. Washington gets to the corner three. Misses. Rebound by Damon Washington. Washington throws it up to Eric Jones. Jones resets. Jones looking for Silas. Gives it to Adels. Adels gives it to Jones. Jones penetrating. Ooh, oh, Jones nice with the oh, okay. He gets the rebound, but and gets the go the shot to go in. You got to box out. You got to box out. Yeah, it was a great defensive possession. I couldn't see who got their hand on the ball, but it was a nice block. Unfortunately, Jones just happened to get the ball back as Meme makes the corner three and the fast break. As Contra Costa almost got another one to go in. And at the half, with a score of 44 to 36, Contra Costa up by eight points. Donay, what can you say about the first half and what you've seen? Um, well, Falcons are definitely going to have to get inside that paint. They're going to have to make open shots. They're going to have to box out, start grabbing these rebounds. But they're not playing bad. Contra Costa is just playing great. And what I'm seeing from Contra Costa, I have nothing negative to say about them. Silas is being a beast out there. <clears throat> Washington, the size, just the size discrepancy, it's it's showing. When the when the fire goes out for the Falcons, that's when the size comes back. So, you know, hopefully they can go inside and make some adjustments and come back out and maybe get a win. And for Solano, what can they do to slow down Matthew Murray and Trayvon Silas? Uh, that comes with just more. They have to want it. Silas and Murray both wanted very much they they're out there grinding they're out there you know if this was concrete they'd be out there scraping elbows <laughs> <clears throat> they're gonna have to definitely box out because these guys are these guys are just big they I, I seen a rebound over the <laughs> over down there on the um 
baseline, and you know Shane was just taller than everybody. And the Falcons, you know, they had they had everybody boxing out, but he's you know those linky arms just you know I grab it and I put it away. I'll put it on the shelf where you can't get it. All right, thank you, Donna. We will be back in a while for the second half of tonight's game. another episode of On Campus. I'm your host, Marjorie Ganderson, and today I'm joined with special guest, Mrs. Celia Esposito Noy, Superintendent President here at Solano College. Celia, what brought you here to Solano College as the Superintendent President? Well, I saw this as a great opportunity to serve the community. This is a college that uh, is really part of my community. I've lived in Solano County since 1998. And I've always driven outside of the county and worked at other colleges. So when this opportunity became available, I thought this is really a chance for me to work really in the community that I call home. <laughs> and that's super great. We're glad to have you here. So tell me, how was your experience in college? What led you to be in education? Well, I always tell students that um, I really had no career plans or path other than I thought I would go to law school, and I thought I would study civil rights and educational law. Um, but I decided early on that probably law school wasn't going to work for me, and so I really didn't know what I would do next. Uh, I ended up working at Chabot College in Hayward, running the tutoring center. That was my first introduction to community college. And after about three years there, I went on to graduate school. Uh, to Stanford to study in administration policy analysis in higher education. And at that point, it really uh, solidified for me that really I wanted to stay in higher ed, and this was a career path for me. So I'm sure being the superintendent president is really busy. So tell me, how do you manage to balance your personal life with being a superintendent president? Well, that's what a lot of people always ask about, sort of that work-life balance. And, you know, I don't strive for that because I don't know what that looks like. When I'm here, I'm 100% here. Um, I will be here as many hours in a day as I need to be here to feel as if I've attended to the business that needed to get done that day. Um, when I am home, I'm also here because on the weekends and evenings, I'm attending to emails, I may have phone calls, I'm attending events. But when you take on a job like this, you know that it's 24-7. And so you expect that really your social life will become part of your work life and your work life part of your social life. And you just make it work. Well, you sound very dedicated. I strive to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you like to spend your free time when you do have free time? Well, that is a challenge. Um, I play tennis. So I started playing tennis again. Um, I will go to theater productions, to sporting events. Um, I like to spend time with friends that I ordinarily don't get to see any longer. Um, I also have family in the Bay Area that I help take care of. So there are plenty of things to keep me busy when I'm not at work. <laughs> So when you're getting ready for work and you're in the car driving, what is your music playlist? What is your go-to song that you like to listen to? Okay, so that depends on my mood and what I'm heading into. Um, I would say I have a very eclectic collection um, and preference on music. Um, I love the 1990s uh, rap, Heavy D and Tupac, okay. the classics. Um, but I also listen to the Broadway channel. And I know a lot of the musical soundtracks because I did musical theater for about seven years. So I also listen to that. And then sometimes I'm listening to MSNBC. And so I am one of those people in the car, even in a 20 minute ride, I'll probably push six buttons over the course of three to five minutes until I find something that I can listen to. 
Well, that's pretty cool. You sound like me. I have like a little mixture I have going on when I come here. So, what do you enjoy most about being the president here at Solano College? This is a great place with great people. From the moment I got here, I knew that people wanted some change to happen. And everybody's been a great part of that. And that's all I can ask for, you know, is that when you're a president superintendent, you never do this work alone. It really is dependent on everyone. And that includes students and staff, faculty, the community, managers. And this has just been a great place where we could make things happen, and in particular, make change happen. And that was really important part of my work here. And I'm so glad that you mentioned change because I really wonder, where do you see Solano College in about five to ten years? Well, one of the first things that we wanted to do was really make sure that we had repaired our relationship with the community. I think we had been a college that had overcommitted and underdelivered, and I think we had done that with students as well. So one of the first things we're working on is really cleaning up how we deliver services, some of the basics. What does registration look like? Is that an easy process for students? How do we communicate with students just basic messages? So those are some of the fundamental things that we need to do. Next is what we've already started doing, which is developing new programs. And in particular, programs that will get students either transferred within a reasonable amount of time and or into a career. So that's the next big plan, and we, we've already begun that. In five or ten years, we should really be a college that hopefully will offer two bachelor degrees. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that we will expand some of our outstanding programs that we have here in career and technical education, in the sciences. I'm hoping that by next year we get a medical school pathway program going, similar to what we have currently with the law school pathway. So this is a great place full of opportunities, there's a lot of good energy, and so I think in five to in ten years there are things that will happen that we don't even know exist yet. Well, gee golly, I want to come <laughs> back and be another student. Well, come back <laughs> and be a faculty member, how's that? Yeah, definitely. So I know that a couple of years ago I was stalking your Facebook oh. and I noticed that you took a trip to Morocco. How was that? Well, that's the last trip that I've taken abroad. So that was 10 years ago. And that was a trip that my husband and I did with a group where we went to Spain, Portugal, Gibraltar, and Morocco. Mm -hmm. And Morocco is quite an interesting place because it really brings together cultures from Africa and Europe. Um, Morocco is about a 30-minute ride on a ferry from uh, southern Spain. So you see a lot of influence of both Spain and Africa in the food at both locations, in the architecture, um, but it also by going to Morocco gives you a very different non-Western perspective and I was really looking forward to that and so it was a very interesting opportunity. Um, I love to haggle at the marketplace and because I did that we purchased an incredible rug, handmade rug, that was retailing for probably $3,500. And I was able to haggle it down to $1,200. So I was very proud that I was able to do that in, in Morocco. And it's really a beautiful piece of artwork that hangs on our wall. So a great opportunity. Uh, probably be another 10 years before I get to travel like that. But it's always um, a wonderful opportunity to see how worlds really are so much alike. That sounds amazing. I wish I could go there eventually. <laughs> that sounds so cool. Yeah. Well, Celia, thank you for stopping by the Salon Absolutely. College Sports Network. Sure. And thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. The exponential growth from the program from my first year to my third year now that's what keeps me coming back and keeps me excited and just like fulfills me as a person I've been taking classes here for years now so I've never actually had a class that I enjoyed quite like this one you no know, I think it teaches you a lot about conf I mean it's confidence building to me it's so impressive and we, we every time we walk in here you guys are doing something different it's, it's great it's great nothing but opportunities here and we have sports to cover we have the equipment because the more ambitious you are the more 
opportunities you'll have. And POF with this program lets you be as ambitious as you want and lets you express yourself the way a teacher should let you. So, like I said, it's really gratifying to us to be able to help in a way where we can see immediate results. And I think the sky's the limit, really, with what we can do here. Get the hands-on experience. I mean, on-the-job training is, is huge. Yeah. It's huge in this industry. Joining a class is the best decision I ever made. The exponential growth from the program from my first year to my third year now, that's what keeps me coming back and keeps me excited and just like fulfills me as a person. I've been taking classes here for years now, so I've never actually had a class that I enjoyed quite like this one. You know, I think it teaches you a lot about, conf I mean, it's confidence building to me. It's so impressive and we, we, every time we walk in here, you guys are doing something different. It's, it's great. It's great. Nothing but opportunities here and we have sports to cover, we have the equipment. Because the more ambitious you are, the more opportunities you'll have. And POF with this program lets you be as ambitious as you want and lets you express yourself the way a teacher should let you. So, like I said, it's really gratifying to us to be able to help in a way where we can see immediate results. And I think the sky's the limit, really, with what we can do here. Get the hands-on experience. I mean, on-the-job training is, is huge. Yeah. It's huge in this industry. Joining the class is the best decision I ever made. Welcome back for the second half. We have a score of 44 to 36. Contra Costa leading with by eight points. And it will be Solano's ball to start the half off. And so Dane, what can Solano or it would be Contra Costa's ball to start the half off. Dane, what can Solano do to improve from the second half for the first for the second half? But well, that's the start right there with that rebound. They're definitely, I can't stress enough, I can say it a thousand times, but they're going to have to box out and grab rebounds. That's where it starts. You don't have the ball if you can't rebound. And they're going to have to get open looks. You know, stop, stop missing the open looks that you get. And, you know, of course they're going to have to play defense on Contra Costa with this size discrepancy and do the best that they can. Yes, as you've just seen, Eric Jones with a little jelly of him for himself. Oh, yeah. 
Jones leading the team by, with 13.3 points per game as Woo! he strips Isaiah Dupuytren. that man! And he goes for the mid-range shot, misses. Oh, my goodness. There we go, rebound. Leon Williams with the rebound. Yeah, it would have been nice to see Eric Jones kind of go in and draw some body contact oh, yeah. instead of trying to bail out for the mid-range shot as we've seen Ray John Washington Ray hit the mid-range shot. Eric Jones pats to Kamari Wright. Wright gives it back to Jones. Jones setting up the offense. Gives it back to Wright. Wright gives it to Jordan Strain down low, being guarded by Sterling Thomas. Goes up strong, misses, gets his own rebound, goes up again, and will be fouled by Isaiah Dupochai. Yeah, as much as you, they they couldn't fight that. That was that was all him. There was nobody else down there in the paint to help him, and they have another offensive rebound. Yeah, Jordan Strain, the other main rebounder for the Contra Costa the Comets, averaging 7.3 rebounds per game. And he's shooting 54.1% from the free throw line. I mean, he's just, his presence is, if he stands out there, he's going to get rebounds. It's, it's very hard. He's, he's actually the tallest man on the court. And there's not a lot. Oh, my goodness. As Matthew Murray just, he clawed the ball, basically just took it right out the air. As Contra Costa getting many more possessions. Set it back up. As Eric Jones uses the screen by Jordan Strain, but it will be an offensive foul on Strain, illegal pick. He, he kind of, you know, raised that leg yeah, up gave, a little he bit. He gave him a little ump, like, you yeah. know. Yeah, Strain obviously doesn't agree with the call and he will be pulled out of the game for a while. As Andrew Mime will bring the ball of court. Mime being guarded by Matthew Murray. Murray not letting him get any space. Oh, he's got clamps on that man. Yeah, and the referee calls a foul on Matthew Murray for the hand check. You know, can't put that hand on, on the players anymore. Very touchy, very touchy. Yeah, Sterling Thomas will inbound the ball. Gives it to Andrew Mime. Mime looking to penetrate. Gives it to Leon Williams. Williams with the oh, jump stop. I Missed the layup. Rebound by Matthew Murray. Murray, he tries to pass it up to Trayvon Silas, but he was not ready for the pass. And Andrew Woo! Mime with the spin move. Oh, he put him in the spin cycle. But he gets stripped uh, by Trayvon Silas. He obviously didn't have that move package. Yeah, if he would have went with the spin move, then... Right after the layup. Oh, he would have killed that man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he definitely would have had him and at least, you know, draw the foul. Get something. You know, they have they definitely have to capitalize because they keep getting the ball back. Nobody has scored in the last minute or so. Yeah, but I think with Meme, like I know I used to do the same thing. Like I'll have a wide open look, but I wouldn't be looking at the basket. Yeah. So I think he was doing the same thing and just went with the pass because he tried to you know, anticipate what the defense was going to do. And you, you kind of have to go with the flow sometimes. Oh, and he read that like a book. Well, the other way with that. Yeah, Eric Jones looking to penetrate. Ooh, Tries I to dump it off to a teammate, but the ball is stolen. Sterling Thomas with the ball. Being guarded by Trayvon Silas. <laughs> Thomas gives it to Washington. Washington gives it to Williams. Williams orchestrates the offense. As Williams gives it to Meme. Meme being double teamed. So, somebody's open. There you Isaiah go. Isaiah Dupachan. There gives you go. Watch it down low. There Watch you go. With the layup. Good job by Solano with a great ball movement. Oh, Fighting the open person. Moving that rock. As Kamari Wright will be guarded by Meme. Wright going strong to the hole. Gets mm -hmm. the layup to go in. He probably dogs in 21. <laughs> that was... You know, that was easy. As Leon Williams being guarded by Wright. And now Contra Costa looks to put on a little bit of double team as Dupachan gets the open look, misses. Rebound by Trayvon Silas. As Wright throws it up to Jones. Jones 
with the Euro stat. Oh, he cut on that man so uh, he's going to have to But he missed the in. layup and rebound yeah. by Leon Williams. Yeah, it was nice by Eric Jones, but he couldn't get the ball to fall and go in. They're going to have to stop giving me those moves if they can't finish. <laughs> I scream every time. <laughs> just a little excitement. <laughs> just, oh, okay, let me calm down. Bring me back down. <laughs> As Mehmet goes strong to the oh, hole, oh, but it's blocked by Trevon Silas. He glassed that man. He's shining glass. Hey, it's, it's the long arm. As Eric Jones penetrates, finds Vance in the corner, and Vance hits another corner three. Vance with the pull. Yes, and Jovel Vance averaging 12 points per game. Almost 12 points per game. He's just contributing because everybody is eating right now. Everybody on that floor is contributing to the team. Yes, and Vance shooting just below 40% from the three-point line. So we can tell he's a pretty good shooter as Eric Jones with the move. He's got he's And got he six. goes up for the left-handed he... layup, misses. And rebound by, by Contra Costa, but he was out of bounds. And there's another just tease for you, jo Donna, you know, they're teasing you right now. They must have heard me. I'm, you know, I'm getting fed up. <laughs> like, I know he's watching. Let me just give him a little Damn. something. You know, get that voice going. Take him off the court, coach. <laughs> <laughs> As Anthony Jones inbounds the ball to Rashad Tucker. Tucker gives it to Maurice Kimball. Kimball dumps it off to Anthony Jones. Jones penetrates, goes up strong, and will head to the free throw line. Anthony Jones, really the only player, well, not the only player, but he's mainly been focused on getting to the hoop in this game. He has to, well, he needs to get everybody thinking just like him because you know, every time Duke Chan gets the ball, he thinks he can launch it up and, you know, give him a head fake. Go inside, draw something. Maybe you can get a pair. Yeah, but the only thing with the Contra Costa lineup that they have out right now you can't really get any defensive mismatches. You know what I'm saying? Like how in the finals you see like J.R. Smith setting a screen for LeBron and Stephen Curry ends up on LeBron yeah, somehow. Yeah. He's bad. You know, they, you can't do that with this Contra Costa lineup because they're so athletic and they have long arms to defend. Yeah, anybody can guard anybody, you know. Switch doesn't matter. They... This is, you know, they have to keep it, you know, this start chipping at this 10-point lead before it turns to 12, to 14, to 16, and then it's out of hand once it gets there. Yes, they're only down 10 points, which is good right now. Anybody could come back for with a 10-point lead, you know. Oh, yeah. And especially with 14 minutes left, plenty of time. Oh, yeah, you can, you know, you can slow things down. You don't have to rush anything. That's Trayvon Silas. I think he was trying to dunk it oh, and that, it slipped that, out of his hand. Yeah, that would have went all the way down. That, but it, yeah, it did slip out his hand. We got a as we have an injured player, Ray John Washington for the Falcons. Looks like he got hit in the eye, maybe. Hopefully he's all yeah. right. He will definitely check out. Thomas comes in. Yeah, Thomas comes in place. to replace him. As Maurice Kimball has the ball, he gives it to Anthony Jones. Contra Costa putting on some pressure with a full court press. As Sterling Thomas has the ball in the corner, gives it to Anthony Jones. Jones gives it to Rashad Tucker. Tucker gives it to Maurice Kimball. Kimball penetrates, gives it to Sterling Thomas in the corner, but he steps out of bounds. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, you got to watch those feet in that corner. You know, there's no room, really, yeah. if you want to shoot a three. That was some great ball movement. I thought they were going to get overly passive, but, you know, he's about to take the shot. But then the ref said, hey, you're on the line, buddy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I was watching Ray Allen, like, how he, you know, gets his form right. And he's always on his tippy toes, and that's something I used to do in the corner only because there's not too much space in yeah, the corner. Yeah, there's no room to work over there. You know, you got to... You got to catch the ball and shoot a lot of times. Yeah. Unless you got the handles to work it down there. As Kamari Wright will go to the free throw line. 
Kamari Wright shooting 65% from the free throw line this season. As he misses the first free throw. And Jordan Strang will check in for Trayvon Silas. And right now, the referee is talking a little bit. He's probably telling them to cool out. <laughs> and Kamari Wright with the second free throw, and he just gets this one to go in. As Anthony Jones has the ball, Maurice Campbell has the ball, gives it to Sterling Thomas. Thomas looking to pass it, gives it to Anthony Jones. Jones setting up the offense, dumps it off to Leon Williams. Williams gives it to Maurice Campbell. Campbell gives it to Thomas in the corner. Thomas penetrates, goes up strong, misses. Rebound by Campbell, and he goes up strong and gets the layup to go Maurice in. Campbell. As Adams has the ball, gives it to Ooh. Strain down low. Strain goes up strong, misses, re gets, gets the rebound. rebound, and he goes back up strong for the putback. And I thought that was a little bit of, yeah, you know, over the back. But then I remember that we're men, so, you know. <laughs> As Rashad Tucker has the ball and Puck out of bounds by Kamari Wright. We get a shot of Leon Williams. Williams will inbound the ball. And he finds Rashad Tucker. Tucker uses the screen by Washington who checks back into the game. Tucker gives it to Jones. Jones gives it to Kimball. Kimball penetrates. But he gets called for yeah. traveling. traveling. Yeah. Falcons need to start eating up that mid-range. They get the open look at three. He pump fakes and then goes inside, and I just have help in the house, you know. My mom is here to help me. So <laughs> stop at the mid-range, stop and pop. And again, you know, once you, they can get that shot going, that'll be a thing they can do, but, in, you know, until then. Yeah, but that's something that you don't see from a lot of basketball players is the mid-range shot. That's why I respect DeMar DeRozan so much because he, oh yeah, he, he abuses that mid-range shot. And he's, I think the last game he played, he scored 35. Yeah, he's, he's been having some ridiculous games. Yeah. That's, he, had, he had 52 one oh, game. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, as you can see, Rashad Tucker bringing the ball of court, gets it to Williams. Williams denies the screen by Washington. Jump stops, gets it to Campbell. There you go. There Kimball you go. hits the mid-range shot. There you go. Just inside the three-pointer. And you heard the Contra Costa bench calling for a travel when Williams did the jump stop because that right foot moved a little bit after he came down. Yeah, just, just a little bit, but if the rest don't see it, it don't matter. Yep, the rest <laughs> don't see it, they don't get called. As Adels tries to drive in, and he will get called for a travel. They called that one. Good job by Rashad Tucker, anticipating the move and causing the turnover. Oh, yeah, closing that gap. As Maurice Campbell will inbound the ball, gives it to Rashad Tucker. Tucker being guarded by Adels. As Rashad Tucker uses the screen, uses another screen by Washington. Penetrates, goes up strong, misses the layup. Like Rebound that. by Jordan Strain. And he is fouled. The foul will be on Maurice Campbell. As Jovell Vance will inbound the ball. Isaiah Adams averaging 7.3 points per game, but leading the team in three-point percentage with 43%. And number 11. Evan Thompson looking to penetrate. Gives it to Kamari Wright. Wright denies the screen by Strain. Penetrates, goes in for the little floater, and he mm. just gets that one to bounce in. Because the Falcons were all in the paint, and he's around that little mid-range area, so I'll just stop right here and let you have that. Yeah, from my analysis, Kamari Wright kind of reminds me of Derrick Rose. Yeah? Like, with the jump stop floaters. Oh, yeah, he's got a little bit of flash know. to him. Very energetic. Yeah, explosive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rashad Tucker in the corner. Dumps it off to Sterling Thomas. 
Thomas goes up strong oh and it's blocked by Joel Vance. He rolled that back. Kamari Wright with the mid range shot. Ah. And he gets that one to go in. Nice Kamari stop and Wright. pop by Kamari Wright. And Wright has been the difference maker in this game. Earlier we seen Trayvon Silas and Matthew Murray really get it going, but Kamari Wright oh, he has been up. the one to really pick up his game and lead the team. Definitely. He's been playing a lot of minutes. I see that when Eric Jones comes out, he stays on. He, he leaves that presence on the floor. As Leon wins with the step back. There we go. Three-point shot gets it to go in. And that's another person who needs to get it going is Leon Williams. Yeah, maybe he can get some confidence off that. Wonderful shot. That was that was splashy. As Kamari Wright goes in and will be called for a charge. Nice job by Rashad Tucker to step in and take one to the chest. I feel like they, you know, that, that's very good. They should have been running that all game. As, as Leon Williams and Rashad Tucker will get a break. And we see Isaiah Adels and Kamari Wright go out of the game for Contra Costa. But we see Eric Jones come back in. As you were saying, Kamari Wright filling that point guard role when their starting point guard is out of the game. Oh, it looks like Kamari is you know, staying in. Oh. Looks like he said had to exchange some words with the coach. Yes. As Andrew Meme has the ball. Be Rashawn Wa Rajon Washington that tries was to give it to. Yeah, they would have threaded that needle. That would he tries to give it to Anthony Jones, but he mishandles the ball. As Eric Jones being guarded by Anthony Jones, no relation. As Eric Jones Ooh. puts a move on Anthony Jones. Oh my! Eric Jones gives it to Thompson. Thompson misses the three-point shot. Rebound by Dupachan. Dupachan gives it up to Sterling Thomas. Thomas penetrating. Finds Rajon Washington. Washington gives it to Jones. Jones looking for a screen. Gets one from Washington. Oh and the ball yep. is stolen by Thompson. Thompson going up. Fillet. Oh. Nice layup. I just held it for a little bit and then I dropped it up for you. On the left side, but going <laughs> up with the right oh, hand. Yeah. As Sterling Thomas gets to Washington in the corner. In the, it, Washington with the step back, misses right. badly. There you go, Andrew. Rebound by Anthony Jones. Jones gives it to Meme. They are low on clock. Meme gives it to Dupachan. Dupachan with the step back, but it's Give denied me that. by Eric Jones. Give me all of that. Eric Jones putting on the move. Missed the layup, rebound by Wright, but he missed the putback. As Eric Jones picks up a frustration foul, knowing that he missed one that he should have had. A great defensive stop by Eric Jones with the block. That was. Hey, he stopped that. He stopped that right there, right where it started. That yeah, was that was one of them Dwayne Wade type blocks, you know, where you just keep it there and let it bounce off the ground. <laughs> As we have a timeout from Solano with a score of 62 to 48. Contra Costa up by 14 points. I'm your play-by-play -play announcer, Anthony Williams, joined by Donna Crompton. Donna. We are here watching on the Fairfield Cable Access Channel 28, YouTube, Greg Puff, Facebook, Solano College Sports Network, Twitter, SESN Sports, along with Instagram with the same username. As we get a shot at Coach Nagel in the huddle talking to his troops. What do you think Nagel is telling his team right now? I'm going to need more hustle. And then I think he's telling them to run more plays. I don't see many plays run out there. I just see people cutting. Nothing, you know, no, no organization out there. And they have to slow it down. Contra Costa is very good at that. And he's probably telling them stop playing at their pace. If you try and play at somebody else's pace, I mean, you know, that's unfamiliar. You won't be able to stick with that. As we get ready for both teams to come out of their huddle. Solano really, they're still doing a good job at keeping this game close enough 
to where they can pull off a comeback. Yeah, no, it's it's still there, but it's getting close. It's getting real close, Anthony. As Dubatron gives it to Thomas. Sterling Thomas looking to penetrate. He gives it to Tucker. Tucker gives it to Mime. Mime calling off the screen. Gives it to Thomas in the corner. Thomas gives it to Dupletron. Dupletron penetrates, goes up. And the basket will not count. Uh, I think he got called for a travel. I or, see Tucker out there yelling at Dupletron. He's down in the paint trying to be a big man, and Dupletron's like, uh, no. Okay, Dupletron, he was actually called for a charging foul. So good job by Steve Evans, number three, taking one to the chest. Keeping his feet down. It's as Isaiah Dupachan will check out the game. Eric Jones gives it to Matthew Murray. Murray gives it to Thompson. Thompson gives it to Strain. Strain gives it to Murray. Murray gives it to Jones. Jones looking to penetrate. Goes in for the layup. Misses, but will be called for it. Will go to the free throw line, and the foul will be called on Sterling Thomas. And I see that Eric Jones is a lot of flash. It's it's it like it is very hard to finish at the rim, but he should be, you know, as, as much as you can get there, you should probably figure out how to finish. Yeah, his game, it kinda reminds you of Ray John Rondo. We haven't really seen him put up any threes yeah, in this oh game. No. He's just more penetrating, get to the hole, set up his teammates. Mm -hmm. And that's what you love to see from a point guard, especially with Nowadays, your point guard either leading your team in scoring or is a top three scorer instead of really assisting in, you know, getting your, shots. No, you always want to get your team involved because, I mean, you can have a you can have a 60-point night and you lose because your team is nowhere on the, you know, mm -hmm. on the stat sheet. You have to, you know, you want to drive in, you know, get the pressure on you, kick it out. Get the, you know, get the ball flowing, and that's what he's been doing all game. Yeah, we live in a day and age where most point guards are more Russell Westbrook and Derrick Rose-ish. So, you know. Uh, we, we live in a day and age where now your position does not define you. That's it. <laughs> yeah. It's like Giannis Antetokounmpo. He can play one through five. Yeah, that's 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 ridiculous. And Eric Johns with the oh! set. Oh, 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 oh. Do, you count, <laughs> do you count that as a dunk or? No, because you didn't dunk it. <laughs> Yeah, I need to see that rim come <laughs> yeah. down for it to be a dunk. As Andrew Meme has the ball, gives it to Anthony Jones. Jones gives it to Tucker. Tucker really being patient, looking for Leon Williams, mid-range post. Williams going to work with the fadeaway, misses. Rebound by Sterling Thomas, but a foul will be called on Thomas. Ah, that's, 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 that's very touchy. That was a, that was a lot of ball. And maybe he would have got some pinky, if anything, but, you know, come on, ref. I thought we were men. So you're saying that was a, more of a play on situation. Yeah, definitely. And the way the game is right now, they can definitely let him play on. Yeah, Solano down 17 points now with, with a little over seven minutes to go. Matthew Murray, the freshman guard. We were talking about him earlier, about him getting rebounds and second chance points for the Contra Costa Comets earlier in the game as he misses the free throw rebound by Leon Williams. Williams gives it to Rashad Tucker. Tucker gives it to Maurice Kimball. Kimball gives it to Tucker down low. Look at Tucker and trying to one. be a big man. I told you. Great he's, job by Rashad oh, Tucker. Oh, he's hungry. He's hungry. He's yeah. the tallest man on the court right now for the Falcons. A few possessions ago, I see him battling down low for a low post position. And I just knew he was going to get his opportunity to really go strong in the basket, to the basket. No, they're definitely all right. I see them pulling back um, back their men from the free throw line. They know they're not getting these rebounds and save your energy for the rest of the game. Yeah, trying to stop any fast break opportunity that the Comets can have. Oh, yeah, we don't, you know, I mean, I want to see another dunk, but, you know, they probably don't. And checking in for the comments, we have Okwaz Muhammad, number 32. And Rashad Tucker will hit the free throw, getting the end one to go in. 
as we have Eric Jones being guarded by Anthony Jones. Jones gives it to Muhammad. Muhammad gives it to Thompson. Thompson gives it to Strain. Strain gives it to Muhammad. Muhammad looking to penetrate, gives it to Jones. Jones looking to create Shot space running out and he with just the fadeaway. He flings it up, and that's yeah, great defense by Andrew Meme and a bad possession from the Contra Costa Comets. Make him dribble that clock out. You, know, you can dribble all you want, but you only got 30 seconds. Yeah, like you said, you can't dribble forever. <laughs> as Meme will bring the ball up court. Meme being guarded by Thompson as Maurice Kimbo has the ball. Kimbo gives it to Jones. They definitely need to look for Tucker. They definitely Jones gives it to I don't care how Kimbo. small he is. Kimbo gives it to Jones. Jones, pro step, pro half step. Kimbo gets the ball, goes to the basket strong, and he will be fouled by Eric Jones. Maurice Kimbo at the free throw line, shooting just under 54% on the year. The 6'4 freshman forward out of Freedom High School. As we get a shot of Campbell. And right now we're at a point in the game where free throws can really make you or kill you. Oh, yeah. And you ever wonder how James Harden ends up with like 45 points in the night? 20 of them are free throws. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I remember one game, I think it was two years ago, James Harden had 25 points, but he went And he just made that man 22. touch her. Sorry to cut you off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I've seen it too. I've seen it while I was looking at you. <laughs> but, yeah, James Harden gets to the free throw line at least 10 times a game and shoots at least 20 free and throws. Makes them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like you were saying, Eric Jones with a nasty finish. Look at him. Ooh. tells Rashad Tucker, not in my house. Not at all. And Eric Jones dishes it off to Thompson, but he cannot handle the ball. Couch Ricasa with a few bad possessions, but they are still playing great defense. As Rashad Tucker will bring the ball to court. Tucker going strong to the hoop. Loses the ball, gives it to Meme. Meme looks for Williams down low, and he missed the shot. Rebound by oh. Tucker, and a little hip check by Kamari Wright. A, a simple loose ball foul, nothing oh, intentional. I see a lot of energy from Tucker. I, I, I really like it. I, I love it, actually. He's hustling. He's trying to get rebounds that men twice the size aren't trying to get. And Rashad Tucker will head to the free throw line. Tucker shooting 69% from the line this season. The 5'6 sophomore guard from Bravo Magnet as he gets the first free throw to go in. And he will shoot another because they are in the bonus. And he gets the second one to go in also. And Steve Evans, who has entered the ball game, will bring the ball of court and is guarded by Rashad Tucker. Evan Thompson has the ball, gives it to across Muhammad. Muhammad gives it to Murray. Murray gives it to Thompson. Thompson gives it to Evans. Evans penetrates, gives it to Muhammad for the corner shot. Misses. Rebound by Rashad Tucker. Tucker throws it and up he to threw Williams. That. He Williams cannot get control of the ball, Yikes. and he misses the layup. <laughs> Contra Costa with a 5 on 4 opportunity, but Miss handles the ball. Yeah, that pass was too low for Matthew Murray. Oh, he threw it at his ankles. Yeah, they could have had an alley oop attempt, you know, if they had thought about Damn, it. Hell, they like jumping so much. <laughs> And Rashad Tucker will be guarded by Steve Evans. And Contra Costa bringing back the double team. Maurice Campbell has the ball, but a strip by Evan Thompson. Thompson going up strong. Are you see and him cradle that? You see him cradle that? As Rashad Tucker goes for the mid-range shot. 
Look and at he hit. Shot. Steve Evans bringing the ball up court. Looking to put a few moves on Rashad oh, yeah. Tucker. Dumps it off to Trayvon Silas. And Silas shuffles his feet. You know, can't pick up that pivot step, pivot foot, or else that's an automatic travel. Yeah, yeah, you definitely want to keep that down. <laughs> no, it's hard sometimes, you know, especially when you're you got all that you momentum know, behind yeah. you. He wants to just take you off that foot. <laughs> I know exactly what you're getting at, Anthony. <laughs> well, man may well bring the ball to court. Gives it to Williams. Williams uses the screen by Kimbo. Gives it to Sterling Thomas. Thomas gives it to Meme. Meme gives it to Dupachon for the three, and he hits it. And don't look now, but Solano is only down by 10 points with three and a half minutes left. Yeah, let's see what happens here. And Steve Evans penetrates, tries to find Silas oh, on the cut. And he kept up. And Williams oh, saves the ball. That's like gives it to Williams for the corner three, misses. Oh rebound God. by Muhammad. As Muhammad gives it to Thompson. And they will slow down the ball, slow down the pace of the game. Steve Evans holding the ball for a while. And Contra Costa will call a timeout. Did you see that passing? That was, oh my, I only see that in soccer. They were just keeping the ball alive. Williams, he's running on the sideline. He's about to go out of bounds. He dips it off to Duplachan, and Duplachan keeps it in. But Duplachan with a great catch because he oh, reached back. Like 1-3. Yeah. Like <laughs> he definitely reached back for that one. Yeah, and with a score of 69-59, to 59, Contra Costa up by 10 points with just over three minutes left in the game. And reach back like 1-3. <laughs> we get a look at the slime a bit. <laughs> that was... Contra Costa will inbound the ball. Yeah, this has been a great game. Kamari Wright will be the one inbounding. And Wright looking, finds Eric Jones. Jones putting a few moves on Rashad Tucker. Jones gets the layup to go and putting Contra Costa up oh by 12. Goodness. And don't look now, but he just got the steal from the inbound. Eric Jones gives it to Strain down low. Strain misses. Rebound by Leon Williams. And Williams will bring the ball to court. Gives it to Tucker ahead. Tucker gives it to Kimbo. Kimbo with the pro step. Gives it to Dupachan. Dupachan with the step back three point shot. Misses. Rebound by Matthew Murray. Murray gives it to Muhammad or actually Jovell Vance. And Vance will give it back to Murray. Murray gives it to Eric Jones. And uh, offensive foul will be called on Jordan Strain. Yeah, and Jordan Strain, he's had a, a tough afternoon, you know, with the calls, the, the offensive foul, the illegal pick that he had earlier. Uh, at least it's... At least his team is up. You know, it, it's crazy how now it's an 11-point game and it seems so far away. You know, it's 10, doesn't sound that bad. And Sterling Thomas there hits the corner three-point shot. Again. It's yeah, and Solano really showing some life in this game now. Down nine points with only a little over two, a little over two minutes left. And maybe they can get some magic going. This, you know, half of these shots are going down for them. I'm gonna need the other half to go in, and then maybe we can rally up a comeback. As we get a look at both benches, Nego, I know he's telling his troops to just stay composed, don't make any mistakes, don't cost, don't make any costly turnovers, because once you make a turnover within the two minutes, that's pretty much oh, the it, ball game. It hurts. It, it's gonna, it's gonna kill you tonight. Yeah, right now, if they could get three open looks from the three-point line, I say take them. But if you can't get any open looks from the three-point line, don't force take anything. it in. Yeah. yeah, Don't force anything at this point. That's Eric Jones, who will be guarded by Isaiah Dupachan. Jones blowing past Dupachan. Gives it to the right. 
Wright looking to penetrate, gives it to Massey Murray. Murray got away with a couple of steps. <laughs> Eric Jones finds Wright, and Wright gets the easy look to with go in. Hawkeye vision. Yeah, I think Wright wanted an alley oop. I, th I think he's pointed yeah, like, out. like pointed up. Like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Jones was going to get it to Wright with that type of ball speed. That. Because that one came in fast. Oh, that came <laughs> in with some heat. That had some flame on it. As Leon Williams will be shooting some free throws. And you see the country Costa coach talking to his troops, pulling everybody back. You know, they have to, basically all they have to do is park the bus. Don't try and be a hero. Don't do anything extra. Just... Keep the ball, use the clock, and you could you could possibly walk out this game with a W. Yeah, Con Solano still has some life in this game. If they could force some turnovers, putting on a lot of pressure on the other team, and force Contra Costa to turn the ball over, we could have another ball game. And I'm I'm definitely up for that because this game has been ups and downs for me, a big roller coaster. As Leon Williams hits the first free throw, shooting 82% for the season, and he misses the second free throw. Mm. And like I was saying, free yeah. throws at this point can make or kill Definitely. you. As Jovell Vance tries to go in and will be called for a charge, Rashad Tucker taking another one to the chest. He's really been the heart and soul of the Falcons in this game. Well, at least the second half. Oh, he's he's been what they needed all this game. They, you know, his size means nothing to him. He's out there being a natural leader. And Tucker bringing the ball to court, being guarded by Eric Jones. Tucker dumps it off to Isaiah Dupachan. Dupachan oh. misses. Rebound by Trayvon Silas. And Eric Jones will bring the ball to court. With a little over a minute left in the game, Contra Costa with the ball. Rashad Tucker putting on some pressure. Here you go. And Eric Jones finds some separation. And he said, get off me. Thompson tries to throw it in to Trayvon Silas, but he had a wide open look if he would have pulled up from the mid range. Yeah, they're, uh, they're trying to get very saucy right now. <laughs> But like I said earlier, nobody wants to take mid-range shots anymore. Yeah, that's not, uh, <laughs> you know, as a kid, that's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> as Maurice Kimball pokes the ball away from Trayvon Silas. And you see Eric Jones telling his teammate, just when you get up, when you get the ball, go up. Just go it. up. That don't take any dribbles. And my friend yells at me all the time because I don't go straight back up. <laughs> <laughs> As Jovell Vance has the ball, goes up for the mid-range shot, misses. Rebound Ooh, by Vance. And Eric Jones will dribble the ball, killing a lot of time here. And it looks like Solano will not foul, so Jones will dribble out and go up for the layup. And I thought that one was nah, going I was going I was going to yell. You know, oh, I seen that. I see, I see you take that breath. You took that breath. I was like, oh, yeah, it's and, coming out. Yeah, I wasn't going to give the gym that, you know. <laughs> the foul will be called on Maurice Kimball, and he is fouled out of the game. Eric Jones on the screen at the free throw line. The freshman guard. He's had a, a fantastic game oh, today. Yeah, definitely. Like, he wasn't even really scoring like that. And he leaves the team in scoring, but they didn't really. Or actually, Kamari Wright leaves the team in scoring. But he didn't have to do too much scoring tonight. Ball movement, that's, you know, that's, that's just like um, Kyrie Irving. Ky people didn't think Kyrie was going to be able to go to the Celtics and make things happen. And, you know, he gets that ball moving. He gets his team involved. And. You know, and he leads in scoring, so that's just a plus. <laughs> As Leon Williams shoots another three, and a timeout will be called by the Solano Falcons. With 29 seconds to go in the game, Solano is now down seven points with a score of 73 to 66. 
And they go still drawing up plays. And if you're Slano right now, you you have to look at Dubochan and Williams to, you know, bring, take you to the promised land. Oh, yeah, definitely. You have to, you know, knock down these shots you've been wanting to make all game. Bring us back. Make a miracle happen. If you're a leader, I, I you know, I believe in miracles when it comes to you. Yeah, and Coach John Nagel, he really is the coach to really just give you that motivation and, you know, make you believe in yourself. And that's what you really want from a coach. You know, Greg Popovich, you know, he's really the same way. He kind of just lets you do what you got to do. But if you mess yeah, up their yeah, system. Oh, you better do oh, what you yeah. have to do. <laughs> yeah, if you mess up anything in their system, he, he doesn't care. The other team could score two points, and that timeout's yeah, coming. You, and you're probably coming out with that <laughs> timeout. <laughs> As Solano will inbound, or Kachikasa will inbound the ball. Solano still has 29 seconds to work with. The game is never over until the fat lady sings. Oh, no, and she hasn't seen yet, so you know, let's see what happens. Jovel Vance will inbound the ball. Vance gives it to Eric There Jones, he is. And the, the ball is nearly stolen by Rashad Tucker. <sighs> now with 26.9 seconds left in the game. Vance again inbounding. Gives it to Eric Jones. Jones escapes the pressure. Runs into I'm, more I'm, pressure. I'm, 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 and ah. a Jump ball will be called, I believe. It should be jump ball. I would be shocked if this is a foul. Yeah, don't do that to me. Uh, the ref taking a knee. I, <laughs> he stayed down there for a while. I, th I think he, that was his rest time right there. <laughs> Maybe that was the bad knee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, old, older people, they, they get that bad knee somehow. Oh, yeah, you, you can't just be dropping down and getting up like that. <laughs> Uh, and there was a wet spot on the ground. Ray John Washington cleaning it, up, cleaning it up. As we get a shot of Trayvon Silas. Washington will inbound the ball. It's Rashad Tucker. Uh, 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 Turning on the spin move. Dumps it off to Southern Thomas. Thomas gives it to Dubochan. Duple trying, if he would have went up. Oh, yeah, he would have got three of them. <laughs> yeah, he would have got three. <laughs> I think it's the fact that he lost the ball and he knew it, oh, yeah, too. Oh, yeah, he was like, ah, mm -hmm. man. Give me two. And Duple trying, will shoot free throws. The 6 1 guard out of Sheldon, and he's only a freshman. And he's, you know, and that's where I see he misses some of his shots as a veteran your season. You been here before, you know, you'll make those shots. As Eric Jones gets the ball and he's fouled by Sterling Thomas. And right now, free throws for Contra Costa are very important. They could either put the game away or they could keep giving Solano chances to win this game. Definitely, and if, you know, like you said, free throws, if you know, if I was making free throws in the first quarter, in the second quarter, in the third quarter, this five-point game might not be a five-point game. We might be tied right now. Eric Jones oh! misses. And the foul will be called oh. on Trayvon Silas. And so we're to this side to shoot yes, free throws. and Reginald Washington will shoot a pair of free throws now with only a couple of milliseconds coming off the clock. And this game, it just got interesting. Very, Very interesting. I see right on the side, looks like he wants to check in. He's, you know, he sees his team getting knocked down. That's Red John Washington shooting 16% from the free throw line. Mm. But he just wants to go in. They count right now. The 6'3 <laughs> freshman forward out of Vallejo High School. And he gets Whoa. the second one to go in also. He says splash for me. And now Solano is only down three points. Contra Costa, they, they've lost all my uh, motivation oh yeah, right now. 
All the momentum is swinging towards Solano. And if Solano can cause one more turn turnover, they could have a oh, very oh. good chance at sitting this to overtime. Uh, so Contra Costa needs to do is inbound the ball and make one free throw. Yeah, that's and uh, that's the ball game. They, anything can happen right now. Feels like a playoff game. Right. Contra Costa, they they were up. I think 15 was the highest Edwin they were up. Yeah. And now the game is three points. Like, yeah, I mean, it, you see it happen in the NBA, so obviously, you know, it can. <laughs> oh, yeah, because Boston just came back from, what, 26 uh, down? Yeah, like, they. He. Ooh! Oh, and he saved your life. He, yeah, that was about to be nasty. Yeah, Rashad Tucker will be called for the foul. But he sends Eric Jones to the free throw line, and Jones shooting 57% from the line this season. And we just uh -huh. seen him miss a free throw. So that might be a good yeah, foul. Maybe you can count on something because they use no clock. And he only gets one sh Oh, he gets two shots now. And he oh. misses the first one. If he misses the second one, Solano, oh. they can have a good chance. And if I'm Solano... <laughs> and if I'm Solano, I'm definitely looking for Isaiah Dupachan or Leon Williams. And he makes the ah. second free throw. Solano out of timeouts. Leon Williams bring the ball to court. Will pull up for three. Misses. Rebound by Eric Jones. And, and that will be the ball game. With a score of 74 to 70, Contra Costa gets the win tonight. And Dane, what did you like from Solano being down so many points and almost pulling off a comeback? The heart, and I want to say Tucker. Tucker kept the Falcons alive. He kept them flying. He was trying to be the big man that they didn't have, and Contra Costa ran out of juice, and Solano noticed that, and they started capitalizing. They started making shots and free throws towards the end, which you know, almost gave him a comeback. So they had a wonderful second half. It, now it doesn't look like they were ever getting blown out. So. Yeah, and like you said, Rashad Tucker really being the spark that lit the fire for the Solano Falcons. Contra Costa, they had Matthew Murray and Trayvon Silas in the first half, but in the second half, they were totally shut down. Oh, do you know what they um they put some they put clamps on Silas. <laughs> like I was looking at him and he was he was trying to get open and they were stuck on that man like glue. So yeah. I love that from the Falcons. Yeah, and without Trayvon Ross, their leading rebounder, Solano, they really did a good job. And with them only losing by four points, that really says a lot about the heart and the great coaching from Coach Nagel. Oh, yeah, they did. At no point they gave up because, you know, we thought we thought this game was over. And then, you know, they only lost by four points. That's that's magnificent. I, I give the Falcons an A-plus for tonight. And with a score of 74 to 70, Contra Costa pulls off the victory. I am Anthony Williams, your play-by-play -play announcer, joined by Donna Crumpton at the Solano Community College Gym. We just seen a good game, and we can't wait to see more from the Solano Falcons. Great job tonight, and we will see you soon. All right, bye. You keep telling me to make it yeah, yeah. to the spot where we would stay lit uh, and finished bottles never wasted.